So my family saw me yesterday and then they're like, what's going on with you? Are you single? And I'm like, yeah, I'm single. And then my aunt's like, of course she's single. Look at her, she's glowing, she's so happy. Um, but everyone I meet, like everyone I meet is on a mission to like find me someone or like, you know, like no one, no one wants to see me single. No one wants to see me happy. It's so funny, like I met my family because we live in different countries. So I saw them in person after like, years literally years i'm a very like shameless person whenever i conversate with anyone like i don't do the hi hello i'm straight into the like you know the deep stuff so literally i saw my aunt after years and i was just like to her when did you get your first gray hair blah blah, blah. i asked all my family members when they got their first gray hair just so i can like so i know when it's coming and from my calculations I think 38 so I'm good I'm good for a while I'm so hungry I haven't ate today I'm just like waiting for my food so I literally just got a sandwich because I don't know just there's a lot of things in India sometimes when I eat it it just doesn't sit well with my stomach so I normally stick to eating sandwiches and stuff like that here This is like my first sunny day in Mumbai because every other day I've been here, it's been monsoon, it's been raining, but finally I get a beautiful India day where it's like hot India. So the plan for today is basically to just sit out by the pool and turn because it's literally so hot. There's something about like the heat in India. It's so exhausting. I'm so frustrated with my body. I wish it would just like go to sleep and chill out sometimes. You know what, actually, I'm gonna go and get a massage. That's what's gonna happen. So I've just gotten a massage done. So I just woke up from the best sleep of my life. And now we're going to the St. Regis. We're just eating. I had such a good time last night. I was out all night with my friends, but basically today my social battery is like down, down, down. So I'm gonna go to dinner. I have to go to this party at the Four Seasons, but I'm gonna go to dinner alone by myself because I just, I can't be bothered like going to dinner and like having to socialize and talk to people. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I know I'm gonna be with people like literally until tomorrow morning, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be late for dinner. See, I made dinner at literally 11 p.m. today and I'm still late, like... I could make dinner at like 3 a.m. and I'd still rock up late, but anyways. Okay, I'm gonna head to dinner now because I've got a booking and I think like 11.30 is the last order, so I don't want to be too late. So I just got a chicken Caesar salad and some fries for dinner. This is like an elite combo.
मैडम नमस्कार So I was supposed to wake up early this morning and I was like going to do some touristy things because Sunday the roads aren't as busy but I was I slept in because I was up with my friends until like we were just sitting up at Lansy and there was like heaps of us and I, I we were just sitting like literally uh, till the morning till maybe like 8 a.m. or something and like Bandra people are funny Bandra people know the gossip like everyone knows everyone and I was just sitting there with my hot chocolate like sipping my hot chocolate listening to the stuff it was like this person went to jail this happened that happened and I'm just like sitting here with my little peaceful life in New Zealand and just like listening to all of this um but yeah my favorite phrase in life is not my monkey not my circus whenever anyone brings up like drama or gossip and I just don't want to say anything because the worst thing you can ever do is like you know say anything i'll just be like not my monkey not my circus and i'll just sit there quietly and get away with it and get out of it so yeah but anyways um we need to go to soho house okay let's go because i'm gonna be late So I'm just gonna eat and wait for my friends. They're all on their way, but they're like busy with work and I didn't wanna wait for them because I didn't wanna miss sunset. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat and then I think they're all gonna join me here soon. And I got myself some calamari and I've got some pasta coming. So I got myself some pasta. I've just quickly come to Estella. So I just finished catching up with my friends at So House and we were like upstairs um, by the pool after I finished eating. And yeah, I couldn't really vlog and film in there because you're just not supposed to and allowed to. I would, but then like, I just didn't want to um, invade like other people's privacy, especially like you know, it's sundowner, people are partying, so yeah, I just didn't want to invade anyone's privacy, so I didn't vlog. I'm meeting some of my other friends soon, and I was getting a bit bored um, at Soho House, like after they left. So, I've just come down the road to this bar called Estella, so I'm just gonna have a drink here and then go and meet my other friends. Also tomorrow um, is the first day of like a nine day festival that's like starting tomorrow. So yeah, people are like, you know, uh, getting ready for that and not really drinking. So yeah, that's why uh, Soho House like got a bit dead and this place is kind of dead now too. So <sighs> me and my friends, we don't know where to meet up. They're just texting me right now. We're just gonna decide a spot and yeah. I'm back to my hotel. I just quickly came because I wanted to change into like comfy clothes because I know I'm probably gonna like come back to my room in the morning or something. Um, but I'm gonna try and not stay out too late because I have to pack all my suitcases. I am gonna leave India tomorrow. Like I'm not missing my flight. Someone, like one of my friends just saw me um, downstairs at the lobby and was like, stay longer, stay longer. And I was like, no, no. Because it's my last day in Mumbai, I'm just kind of like doing the rounds. So I saw one group of friends, now I'm seeing my other group of friends, and like whoever wants to see me, I'm just letting them like come and like, you know, say their goodbye. And yeah, I need to pack all my suitcases. I can, I can call the help. I don't want to annoy her because it's night. But I can call her. 
Okay, no, I'll don't. I won't be a brat. I'll just do it myself. One, one. <laughs> I got a love letter, yay. <laughs> What's his name? It's Chris Christian. Christian? Christian, yeah. Hi Christian. Hi. No thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is so <laughs> you know, I think you are hot oh, and sick. No, I dare, I dare, no, I dare both the boys go and knock on Christian's door. With this, with this. Marcel, <laughs> there's a girl that wants to see you. The rumors. What is it? 1611, go. Knock on the door. She left your love letter as well, but she wants to meet you. Go. I'm just checking out at my hotel now, and I'm leaving Mumbai. Literally, the stress I was under just packing, I was like running around my room, like trying to just throw everything into the suitcase like why am I like this like I always leave it to last minute it's so bad I am literally sleep deprived like I got two hours of sleep last night and I'm leaving Mumbai but before I leave I just quickly want to go to Mount Mary Church it's just over here and yeah I'm, I'm running a bit late so I'm just gonna quickly go to the church and then head to the airport and my friends literally tried so hard to cancel my flight again they're like don't go Let's just stay back another week and i was like no 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 but yeah it is it's flight day it's flight time i'm going back to new zealand after like seven weeks so i'm just quickly gonna go to the church Okay, so I'm just done praying and now I'm gonna go um, to the airport. So I literally just got myself some KFC. Okay, so I just got myself food because I need to have a good meal because literally like I think I'm traveling for I don't I don't even want to say it okay so I'm going from Mumbai to Bangalore Bangalore to Singapore Singapore to New Zealand and it's gonna be over like almost two days of traveling and I don't eat on planes like I plane food just makes me super sick so I'm probably just gonna be like living on coffee and you know like snacks on the plane um, and even the lounge food like I don't love the lounge food actually you know what the lounge in India isn't horrible but yeah um, I don't know when I'm gonna stop vlogging I didn't actually plan on vlogging because traveling alone sometimes gets so hectic like when I was on my way to London British Airways so when we were in America we were seated on the plane for six hours before taking off so, and it was hot and I was claustrophobic and then when I landed in London my bags got lost and I didn't have my bags for like two days so sometimes stuff gets really like hectic and I just want to like break down and have a cry and then I'm like I can't because no one's got me except for me so I need to like be really onto it and yeah but anyways yeah I'm just gonna stuff my face with a little bit of food because this is probably gonna be my last meal <laughs> for the next two days um, honestly if you ever consider moving to New Zealand please keep in mind that when you travel that's not gonna be fun it's gonna be long it's gonna be tiring and it's yeah I don't know how I had literally like excess weight of like 20 kgs when I didn't shop a lot on purpose I was trying not to shop a lot and I literally donated like two suitcases full of clothes and then they're like yeah 18 kgs overweight and I was like oh my god so riddle me that like you guys know it was so hard for me to try and find a flight because you know there aren't like a lot coming to New Zealand and stuff and like the route that I'm taking is so annoying like the fact that I have to go from Mumbai to Bangalore like what the heck but 
If I didn't take this flight, then there were no flights until like next month, so. I just want to buy some books for the plane. I've actually got the first edition copy of that book. So I'm just having a coffee and let me do like a little book reveal for you guys. So this is the first book I got. It's kind of about how like Hinduism is the oldest religion. So this book's just about like how we all struggle through pain and grief. And this is the last book that I got. It's Satguru's new book and I always buy his books. I've even got like first editions of some of his books. I really like a lot of the things he has to say and I agree with them, so yeah. And the last thing that I bought is like this new tarot card set. So I saw this tarot card um, deck in the bookstore and I was just so drawn to it that I like had to get it. I've already got a deck at home in New Zealand. I'm legit so sleepy today because all of last night, like my friends were just in my room. They were like, 15 people and everyone was just coming in and out all night because um, it was my last night so everyone was visiting me and yeah I didn't sleep a lot so I'm just gonna pass out on the plane. I literally hate one of my friends so last night he, he just kept talking about the movie Manifest. He's like have you seen the movie Manifest this and that and I was like oh my god when I get off this flight I'm gonna check the date and the time because I actually I do believe in like parallel universes and things like that so so when these guys were like talking about manifest I was like can you guys not please like I'm gonna sit on this like I'm traveling for like 36 hours I'm gonna sit on every single flight like paranoid that I'm gonna like not come back for another five years or something that's actually what I tell myself when I get anxious I'll just be like my future self already exists like whatever I've envisioned and whatever I'm manifesting like that already exists um, in a parallel universe like you know so keep my mind positive and keep my thoughts what I want my future to be As you fade away.